Leila from Pakistan is confused about how is it possible that some people may sin, earn haram, and probably perform umrah and do righteous deeds. And Allah Azza wa keeps on giving them wealth and it seems to us that they are being given the peace of mind. So she's confused about this. Well, first of all, Layla, it is not our responsibility to judge people. And those who judge others are the most miserable people on earth because they see things they cannot comprehend or understand. And this spoils their life. And this spoils the peace of mind they may have. When I keep on looking at my ibadah, my forms of worship, I pray in the masjid, I fast Ramadan, I try my level best to stay away from haram, I offer taraweeh, I offer umrah, I give in charity. I'm quite content that I'm trying my level best to follow the sunnah and to be abiding by the sharia. Ah. Yet, I may not be what I want to be in so many different aspects. And then when I look at someone else, they don't do half of what I do, yet Allah privileged them with wealth, with health, with spouses, with children, with success. And I keep on saying, how could that be? When I see that I've refrained from many haram things I could have been engaged in because I fear Allah. And I see that nothing has changed. When others who got engaged in haram things, which I ref declined and rejected, Allah poured from his grace and wealth upon them. And they're as if they struck the jackpot. Here is where shaitan messes up with my head. Like he's messing up with yours. Life is a test. Allah gives the disbelievers from this dunya without account. And the believers who worship him, Allah may test them with poverty and illness and insecurity. This is a test for them. They would say, why is Allah doing this for, to us? This is a probably because we're not on the right path. Maybe Islam is not the right religion. And it's a test for the disbelievers when they say, listen, we say that Allah is one of three. And if he did not like that, he would not have given us this power and wealth and health and all these beautiful things in life. So this me must mean that we are on the right path. path. It is a test for everyone. So again, what defines you is the Quran and the Sunnah. What tells you what's right and wrong is Sharia law. Look into it. And if the people are abiding by Sharia law, then they are on the right track. If not, Allah is testing them. So don't fail the test like they had done so.